Pronoun Pronoun What is a pronoun? How many types and what are they? All the words we use instead of nouns are pronouns or all e.g., it, he, she, we etc. The word which we use instead of noun is called pronoun. A pronoun always replaces a noun. Example, Amir is a good boy. Here Amir is a noun, he goes to school every day. We should take care of our children. In the above examples a boy named Amir is mentioned. The first time his name is used as Amir, the next time his name comes up. He has to use he as a pronoun after his name. Similarly, pronouns are placed according to different types of nouns. Types. There are several different kinds of pronouns. These are 1. Personal pronouns 2. Demonstrative pronouns 3. Interrogative pronouns 4. Indefinite pronouns 5. Possessive pronouns 6. Reciprocal pronouns 7. Relative pronouns 8. Reflexive pronouns 9. Intensive pronouns 1. Personal pronouns Personal pronouns refer to a specific person, object or group. The personal pronouns are pronouns that refer to a certain person, thing, or group. I, it, he, they, she, we, and you are the personal pronouns. Subject pronouns The pronouns that sit as the subject in the sentence are the subject pronouns. Subject pronouns, I, we, he, she, they, it. I love banana. He and I had a deal. They should go for a study tour. Object pronouns, object pronoun is the opposite of subject pronoun. Subject pronouns and object pronouns have different forms. Object pronouns are, me, us, him, her, them, it. 2. Demonstrative pronouns Demonstrative pronouns sit before the noun and specify the noun. These usually work more as adjectives. But when nouns are implied, they are called demonstrative pronouns. These, those, that, such and this are the demonstrative pronouns. Example, should I bring those? This is the last one that I left in the room. Those are beautiful. 3. Interrogative pronouns The pronoun used to ask a question is called interrogative pronouns. Interrogative pronouns are used to ask or make any questions. Who, which, when, what, whose are the interrogative pronouns? Example, who is your sister? Used to ask a question about people, what do you want for a meal? Used to ask a question about object, whom do you want? Used to ask a question about people, for, possessive pronouns. The possessive adjectives, possessive adjectives, my, our, their, his, her, its, are used to denote ownership or rights. Example, have you brought your jacket? I didn't bring mine. My jacket, my book has been stolen by someone. Can I see yours? It is my dog, not his. 5. Relative pronouns Relative pronouns are used to add new information about a noun inside a sentence that which, who, whom, whose, where are the relative pronouns. Example, the man who is wearing the black sunglass is my uncle. This is the place where I lived for two years. The shirts that I bought the previous day were excellent. Reflexive pronouns. If the subject and object are the same person or object, reflexive pronouns have to be inserted. Reflexive pronouns reflect the subject as an object. When the subject itself comes again as an object, reflexive pronouns are used. They end with self, selves, himself, myself, herself, themselves, etc. are the examples of reflexive pronouns. Example, he killed himself. They hurt themselves when they tripped on the stairs. I told myself not to waste the valuable time. 6. Intensive pronouns. Intensive pronouns are pronouns that are used to emphasize any other noun or pronoun. Reflexive pronouns and intensive pronouns look alike but intensive pronouns are not used as objects in sentences. Intensive pronouns end in self, selves and refer back to another noun or pronoun to emphasize in the sentence. Example, Rahim opened the door himself. I wash my clothes myself. 
published by Grammar Hub.